Good afternoon, more Medic One. I've got a uh, HRC 216K3 uh, Honda commercial on the bench once again. Um, I've had real good luck with these videos. It's I've helped a lot of people. And uh, one of the questions was, well, after I get the bolt out of the center of the clutch, the clutch is stuck on there and I can't get it off. Well, that's a good question and I'll try to explain to people how to do it uh, through the comments of my videos and uh, here's a perfect example I got one on the bench today uh, it's not coming off for me very well so we're gonna try to remove it and this is how I do it um, I don't know of any other way to, to do it you could probably use an air hammer or something but uh, basically what I do is I get the old blade well first I want to run this nut in here about that many times doesn't really matter as long as you've got several threads up in there you don't want to damage the threads go ahead and reinstall the upper blade and about that many turns on that nut bolt it doesn't have to be precise you just want some gap in between the blade and the uh, clutch disc holder or blade holder now what I usually do next is I've got a two jawed puller and I'll go in here like this and like this and I'll tighten it down let me grab a uh, 7 8 wrench to turn this with and I'll be right back Get everything tight to work don't try to come off a lot of times you can just do it. look at there it's coming off by hand sometimes they're just stuck on there like crazy okay I don't know if you saw that move or not but it did move so let's go ahead and remove our tool so it was stuck on there just enough where it didn't want to come off I think we've backed it off enough to where it'll come off now let's try it looks like a champ just walk it off the crank and I'll show you why it's hard to get off wow this is actually broke yep it's going to need a clutch disc here and a clutch spring I'll have to go get one of those clutch spring is broke and a new clutch holder of course because the I've got the new parts here got the clutch spring it goes there here's the broke one kind of do a little side-by-side -side comparison here as you can tell uh, the clutch disc on the uh, the new one has the little nyliner bushings let's see if I can get a close up on that and then the the old one as you can tell has the, the bushings have long been gone and has been wearing metal on metal on the clutch holder like this and whenever the mower is running it's constantly making all kinds of racket and banging and clanging and knocking and carrying on um, we're gonna get this thing put back together uh, the new clutch is going to fit well basically what you need to do is the spring goes either way you can that way or that way and then the uh, clutch disc fits like that basically what you're gonna have to do is kind of get this thing on the lawnmower and get everything kind of halfway lined up and you're gonna start the bolt that holds this on all right once you get everything situated 
First of all, you want to take you some emery cloth and clean up the crankshaft here. Where that thing was rusted. Put you a little dab of grease or some anti-seize on the crankshaft right there. I like to use Johnson Evinrude Triple Guard Grease. Uh, it's totally waterproof and it won't wash away. And it's a very good uh, it's a Molly Base Grease and it works great for anti-seize applications for use in uh, salt water. I have used this stuff more than anything. It's real thick and real tacky and uh, stays in place. So go ahead and get your disc ready to be put on. It's going to go like this. Like I said, the spring and then the clutch holder or the blade holder. Get your clutch bolt ready to go on. Just kind of halfway get everything lined up and everything and it may take you a couple tries but uh, once you get it on there the bolt is long enough to where you can start the threads. Get everything kind of lined up. It may be a little tight because that spring's new. But just uh, get everything lined up and send it home. I don't know what the torque spec is on that. I've been just hammering it home with an impact for years and years and years and I've never had a problem. So get your blades put back on it. Good to go. If you have any questions about Honda lawnmowers, let me know. More Medic One. Y'all have a good day.